I started uh, photography actually in high school, and that's where I first picked up a camera. Prior to that, I, I grew up in a household that was very artistic. My mother and my uh, grandmother were excellent artists. They were really amazing at, at painting and drawing, and they could they could do some amazing things. And uh, they really really tried. Uh, bless them. They tried to get me to uh, express some creativity through those mediums. And I did. I tried. I wanted to be good at it, but I was terrible. <laughs> it was so bad. I could not do anything uh, very well uh, in that regard. So when I got to high school, uh, I picked uh, photography as an elective my freshman year. And to be honest with you, I did that because I was also on the track team and the photography elective was taught by the track coach. So uh, I don't know how it is these days, but back then, if you saw an elective taught by a coach, you assumed it was going to be an easy A. Well, that was a bad assumption on my part because uh, not only was the track coach a great track coach, he was also an excellent photographer and very passionate about the subject of photography. So it was not an easy A, but uh, that, that first freshman year was, uh, I found my medium uh, was a camera. And I was very fortunate in that not only did I have that option to take uh, photography as an elective, uh, the photography room had a lab attached to it that was a dark room. And it was a great big dark room. So, you know, we got to learn not only the ins and outs of you know fully manual film cameras but how to develop the film and you know develop prints from the film so i spent four years i took all you know photography one through four um in that and i just completely immersed myself with it and i absolutely loved every every second of it and what i didn't realize at the time is that i was building the foundation of what would become a, a career uh later in life and i'm i'm so thankful for that whole experience and for for mr hawkins and and how he was very passionate about photography and uh, very very hard on his photography students so that was in a good way hard in a good way it was awesome experience for that uh shortly after I don't know, high school you know a few years after i was you know i still shot i still kept doing doing my thing i had this huge love of landscapes and I loved uh, the, the opportunities that were present in Oklahoma as far as you know, getting out and traveling and going and seeing beautiful things and, and shooting it. And, you know, I was all about it and I loved it. So I kept building a, a basically a portfolio and I had an opportunity to sit down with some people with the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department and they liked what they saw. One thing led to another, I started shooting for them. And that's how I got my my foot in the door in the professional world, and it's been it's been a journey ever since. Ever since I've you know since uh, explored past the state lines of Oklahoma, and uh, you know I fell in love with uh, the night sky. And you know when you're out shooting landscapes, you know at, at sunset, you you typically are going to be out past sunset proper and you know you're going to be out when it gets dark and so it's easy to look up and you know start to imagine wow this is awesome how do i capture this how do i capture this with a landscape so that i have detail in both the the landscape and the night sky how do i how do i do this and you know i got really immersed in that and that's that's my my niche now it's my genre uh for the most part i do i do enjoy the standard you know uh landscape and i do enjoy wildlife photography uh, i don't shoot a lot of people i'm not a people photographer uh for the most part unless you're a close friend you know but other than that um i love my night skies and i love my uh my landscapes put together so 